the science of interpreting the relationship between the sun and the daily lives of primitive people is called archaeoastronomy. Archaeo meaning archaeology and astronomy meaning the study of stars. Observing celestial phenomena is the one constant that unifies humankind throughout space and time. Ancient man knew celestial events followed cycles, circles, and these events could be recorded. Approximately 5,000 years ago, they devised a way to place stones in certain positions to align for lunar and solar events. Events like seasons were noted and found to recur regularly with certain positions of the sun and stars. The Earth spins on its axis once every day and gives us the familiar experience of daytime and nighttime. For thousands of years, humans have used this cosmic cycle to regulate their workday, their meals, and their sleep. The Earth orbits the Sun once every year, and from this we get the familiar 365-day cycle. Earth's orbit around the Sun is an ellipse. Basically, that means an oval, with the Sun offset from the center of the ellipse. Does this mean that we have summer when the Earth is closest to the Sun and winter when the Earth is farthest from the Sun? The surprising fact is that the distance from the Earth to the Sun has absolutely nothing to do with the changing seasons. Our northern hemisphere is closest to the Sun in January and farthest from the Sun in July. So what is causing the change in temperature? Earth's axis is tilted by 23 and a half degrees from a line perpendicular to Earth's orbit. What does this mean? To understand this tilt, we have to use a bit of basic geometry. An angle has two sides and a vertex. The sides are rays that share a common endpoint called the vertex. The angle formed by two rays can be named in a variety of ways. For example, the angle formed by ray AB and ray AC can be named angle BAC, angle CAB, or angle A for short. Notice that A must be the middle letter in both three-letter names because it's the vertex. You can measure angles using a protractor. The unit of measure is degrees. Angles can be classified by their measures as acute, right, obtuse, and straight. If the Earth rotated on its axis perpendicular to or at a right angle to the orbit, there would be no changes in temperature. The Earth rotates at an angle 23 and a half degrees from this perpendicular line. It's a very small tilt, but enough to affect the sun's rays hitting the Earth. The tilt of the Earth's axis gives us our seasons, and because of the extremes in heat and cold, it's very important to keep track of the changing seasons if you're growing food. This seasonal cycle is important to ancients and even modern people. In some parts of the world, like the arid climates of the southwest states of the USA, the growing season was so short that people could not waste much time getting the seeds in the ground at the start of spring. But how do we predict when the growing season will begin in the spring? For that matter, how can we tell when the other seasons begin and end? It turns out that, just by keeping track of how high up the sun gets over the horizon at noon, you can determine the start of the seasons exactly. Almost all ancient people that relied on planting times discovered this little relationship. The start of the four seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring, are noted by what astronomers call the summer solstice, the fall equinox, the winter solstice, and the spring equinox. At the start of summer around June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun is at its highest point above the horizon at noon. As the sun begins its movement back away from its maximum height, the number of daylight hours has declined to an equal number of daylight and nighttime hours. This is the fall equinox near September 21st. A few months later, the path of the sun arrives at its lowest point at noon. The sun spends very little time above the horizon of the northern hemisphere, and the night is much longer than day. Welcome to the winter solstice, or start of winter, around December 21st. After a few more months, the path of the sun works its way higher in the sky, eventually arriving at a path where day and night are equal. This happens March 21st at the spring equinox, a vital time for planting crops. 